hello everyone welcome in the last lesson we have learned how to use angular material create list and create different layouts with the help of that in this lesson we are going to apply this learning and create a smart photo gallery with the help of that okay before that first of before that i am going to convert this grid tile hard coded grid tile into a dynamic grid tiles okay for this i will take the help of our component typescript file we will go here and i will implements on init and will override the method public ng on init and we'll do what we'll create a list here okay public list and i will call the type of the list is equal to empty okay this dot list okay and let's specify some value here okay so what do we want we want to make this hard coded part from into a dynamic grid list okay so if you look carefully we have taken uh, 12 tiles 1 2 3 okay, 5 nines, 1 2 3 4 5 5 5 and 4 that means 14 tiles we have created so i am going to create a 14 rows 14 object and i will call it row and the values are like rows for the first for the first time the rows is what two calls is two and data is one okay linting error two three and five six seven eight nine five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen okay for the for the second row what is the row and column this is one one for the third it's a uh, row is two columns is what one for the four is one one let me also call it what one two three four so i'm just mapping i'm just mapping the uh, i'm creating an object for each style and mapping the how much how many rows and columns each style is taking if you talk about the row tile five it is taking one and one and, and calling the value what five for the six if you talk about the six it is taking two rows and two column and the value is what six if you talk about seven eight nine all seven and it is taking one it is also taking one nine is also taking one let me change the value also here seven eight nine if you talk about the 10 11 10 and 11 is taking one one 10 11 and also taking one twelve twelve is taking two two and two thirteen fourteen one again one one So what we have done, we have created uh, an object and instance for each tiles and specify the rows and columns. So instead of hard coding our tiles 14 times, we do not have to hard code this much time. So now this time I'm going to take the help of, we are going to take the help of for loop, angular for. 
I hope everyone is familiar with this okay so how to write for loop ng for so and what is our list name I like st only so we go here and we type list we're almost done so what we it, what it has done it has created those many objects and the value is hardcoded one so now row span value I will use dynamically and how we will specify the value item dot rows this rows attribute and for the column I'm going to use calls attributes so let's specify here item dot calls now you can see this exact same layout has been created now change the value item dot data now we can see the exact values and you might be thinking in terms of height and all I have not specified or discussed too much about the height but here so we can also increase the height control the height like this also so what we have done we have created a layout how this time we created a dynamic layout dynamic layout and if you want to add if I repeat this pattern one more time what will happen we will be able to see the repeated pattern okay so what we have done so now what we have avoided the hard coding hard coding of the tiles we have made the tiles dynamic now and this is controlled by the our logic so now the way we will be wanting it will be appeared in that way okay now i am going to introduce here instead of the value like this item dot data what i want i want to display some image here i want to make this project as an image gallery instead of putting displaying number i want to display some image here for that i am going to take the help of what okay i have removed the data so it is an empty layout and we can place anything here and instead of anything we are going to add here an image tag okay i am j okay for the image what we need we need a source so what is the source of the image for this i am going to take the help of the one url that called pixum photos that this is the lorian ipsum for photos and it provides the URL so I will copy this URL you can learn more about this Pixel Porto as per your requirement so so this is the URL I will copy this URL and will place here in the SRC tab and now let's have a look what we can see it has provided an image so we don't have to worry about the images Pixum has taken care and every time we repeat it will give us a random images so let's apply some uh, some styling or before styling what we can do uh, if you want to okay let's apply some styling style and object fit is equal to cover okay width is equal to 100 percent and height also is equal to 100 percent okay that's great what we have done we have created a uh, now we have created a photo gallery okay now we can see that but there's one problem here in this all the images are same can we change this yes we can change this and but uh by the way 200 and 300 is the dimensions of the images and if you want to use a different image so we have to make a slight change in the dimension so what i will do i will take the help of let index is equal to index and here i will make this dynamic 300 plus index so now you can see that we have created a 
dynamic image gallery by applying our learning of great list and the view the layout is completely dynamic and the layout is completely unique and we can change the decoration as per our requirement okay what do you mean let me explain one more time let's suppose if i change this if i change this value from 4 to let's suppose 3 so how does the url changes the layout has been completely changed so now there are only three columns if i change from three to two you can see that the layout has been changed let me do one more thing here i need to stop the repeating pattern because it is taking time to download all those images so now if i come here now you can see if i need to change the layout that means from the columns 2 to column 3 now you can see the structure has been changed from column 3 to column 4 you can see the structure of the gallery has been changed so that's the beauty of the grid list layout and we mainly use the grid list layout to create a image gallery which i have used mainly okay that's it from this session so we have applied our learning of the angular grid angular material grid list layout and successfully we have created a, a smart image gallery okay thank you thank you very much if you like the session please like and subscribe my channel thank you